What's up guys, West Coast 7 coming at you in another video and today we'll be installing uh, hand guards on the 2018 Fat Bob. I got the hand guards from Memphis Shades. Uh, actually I bought them, I got them from Dennis Kirk, so I'll put the link down in the description. Um, here's the part number and all that. And again, link in the description. Uh, they look good. They're a gloss black. You know, even though my bike is denim black, but they look good. Uh, that's what they are. That's two holes. And actually, it's got the cutout for the turn signal. And I know a lot of people who were installing the ones without the, the cutout were having an issue saying they had to relocate the turn signals because the hand guard wouldn't fit. So using my research abilities, I found uh, these that had the cutout. Um, I have already installed one just to see what it was about. It's really simple and uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. All right, so. As you can see, there, there it is. Um, so basically, it comes with this little bracket right here, and you know, two bolts that screw into this. And um, then you just take your your nut off here for your for your mirror stem and uh, turn signal. Slide the bracket on there. Slide the stem through the bracket and then bolt it back down. And that's that's what you get. You see they're still, like, I have a very big hand, and I can still, you know, I still got plenty of space to actually stretch it all the way out. So, let's, uh, let's get to the uh, clutch side. Now, to be, note, take note of this, there are two brackets. One bracket is shorter for the throttle side, and one bracket is longer for the, the clutch side. And uh, so we're gonna do the clutch side real quick. All right, so you got your clutch side hand guard. You got your bracket, your long bracket. Again, we kind of messed up. You put the short bracket on the clutch side and you wonder why you can't squeeze your clutch. Uh, yeah. Take the long one. Put that one back What you're gonna have to do is get a 7/16th and uh, take the bolts out real quick. So uh, bolts out, and you take uh, when you take it apart. There's a there's this black washer right here. That washer goes through those holes. Make sure they're flat on each side. And then you uh, take the bolt and screw it into these right here. So let's do that. <clears throat> All right, once you take the bracket apart, this is what you're left with. You got the bracket, two bolts, um, you got the rubber grommet, and then what the uh, bolt screw into. And you're gonna take your rubber grommet, I'm trying to drop this, and take that off of this. And you got your grommet, take your hand guard, then you, you uh, just kinda, doesn't matter which way you do it, this way, that way. And you just kinda push it through until it's flat. You think by now I'd have this down, but I don't. So once you got your washers in there, or your grommets in there, nice and flat on both sides, 
you take that little black piece, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, and uh, stick it in there like so. It's the outside, so it looks good on the outside, matches the uh, handguard. Then you take a bracket, slide that on there. in there or your bolts in there. And you just kind of put your bolt, your bolts in there. You tighten it down and then you got your hand guard complete. And then after that uh, take a mirror. Well actually if you can get it to stay, you can actually just take the nut off. And um, like I, have, my mirror is undermounted, so it's not a big of a deal. Uh, I take the nut off, then I can slide the back, the bracket over the stem, and then tighten it down and straighten it up. So, huh? You're right. That don't All right, we got the got the bracket on there, nice and tight. Not too tight because you don't want to, you know break your hand guard it's only plastic but good looking closely and then just take your at least on the fab out might be other models I don't know uh, take that off you need a you can use a 13 millimeter or a half inch uh, I got a half inch because I couldn't find my 13 it's so much simpler and Softels, maybe not the FXDR, don't really count that one because it's got its own awesome LED blinkers and shit. Uh, at least with <laughs> these ones, um, we like the bullet style. You gotta have the cutouts, otherwise, you're gonna end up having to relocate or buy new turn signals. But if you get the ones with the cutout for the turn signals, you get. Test real quick, a little sit test. Yep, I can still use everything, still stretch my hands out. Oh, yeah, this is good. I mean, of course, I'm gonna have to adjust my mirrors, but hey, nothing a good head check can't fix. But I like it. It looks good. It looks really good. All I need now is some shorty levers to kind of tuck it in um, behind the hand guards, and we'll we'll be doing we'll be doing good. Um, but yeah, I'll tighten these up, and then we'll get a uh, we'll get a ride in because I gotta go to work, and we'll see how they do. What's up? We're on the bike. Oh yeah, I got the hand guards on. They look good. Um, maybe they could be a little taller. I might have to put something uh, up here just to help 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 out. Um, but I think for what they are, they'll help. Uh, you know, it kind of makes the wind go up and over your hand instead of hitting your hand. Um, directly, like I can feel, like down there, I can feel that the, the, all the air is not there, and um, 
so I mean it, they're working we could use a little more but you know it is it is work uh, so um, I know I'm gonna have to take it on an extended ride just to like make sure and I gotta adjust my mirrors and stuff but People gotta pull in front of the line. But yeah, definitely, I think they'll, they'll work. And they look good. I love the way these look. Um, I think if I got like a T-bar or something like that, some, you know, bars and risers or something like that, it'd work so much better. Or look better anyway. But right now, I love the way they look. This car next to me smells like weed. It is legal in the state of Nevada, so what are you going to do? Enjoy. But yeah. Um, so, let's see. What else is there? Oh, there we go. Guess I don't need to adjust it. <laughs> um... I would say it's definitely worth um, worth the money. They were 80 bucks on Dennis Kirk. I think they were like 83 or something like that with shipping and handling. Um, definitely worth the money so far. Um, as I ride more, um, I guess I really figure it out. It's kind of warm today, so it's all good um, there. But definitely um, worth seeing if you like it, you know. Cause they, they look good to me. They work so far. So um, throughout the day, you know, lunch and stuff, I'll get a better impression of them. And um, after lunch, I'll tell you what I think on the way back to work. <laughs> Till then. What's up guys? Well, heading back to work. Just had lunch at Smash Burger. It's actually really good. Had the Sin City. It had a fried egg on it. And I'm down for anything with a fried egg on it. Because, you know, fried eggs are fucking awesome. And I am going to go to the light. Yeah, um, definitely. Not only do the handguards look good, but they are actually, I think they're working. It's kind of hard to tell because I haven't used them that long. But um, yeah, you, like you can tell the difference if you lift your hand up. You can totally tell the difference. Um, when you're riding down the road. So I would say they're definitely worth it. Again, they look good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I might add, like, a little rubber piece right here or something, just to get a little more height on it. I mean, I guess I could always just adjust the handlebar, but I like what my handlebars I have. So, we'll see. But like I said, ooh, bump. they do look really good, so... definitely pick them up like i said uh links in the description um for dennis kirk uh you know memphis shades and if i can find them on amazon they'll be on amazon too um so um, i would say they work um for any soft tail you know 18 19 um maybe some ones before but um as far as I know, the 1819s 
Sands, the FXDR, but anything that's got the bullet style turn signals and the mirrors like that, these would probably work pretty well. I know they work on the Street Bob because I saw a video and they look pretty good. Um, yeah, so go for it. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share it with all your friends or anybody else who likes motor motorcycles. They don't have to be your friends. And, um, you know, I'll see you on the next one.